So I'm hoping that you got a good view of what the pot looked like after I took the dirt yeah. in. On the bottom, I'm going to take just regular plastic, better plastic, because that was my first mistake, is I used bad plastic on the bottom. It's not a very good wood structure. It's something that I built a long time ago, and I'm really horrible at building these things. But uh, it was my first attempt, and it was bad. But I'm still going to use it. I uh, noticed that the plastic was bad, and the bottom part was getting water on, on the wood and the weight of the dirt was actually causing the bottom to, to collapse. A couple of nails on the side were exposed on the edges too. So I'm going to work on that, redouble my efforts like I said, and if it doesn't work then we'll all know because I'll keep track of it and film it as I go along. Um, this is going to be my second shot at so, it. Um, for me, personally, I, I know that heat rises and when you have plastic but that's, that's that close to the soil, it's going to heat the soil up and it's going to cause it to have some issues. Like I said, we're going to put a plumbing system in, in, into, or a flushing system into the same setup. I'm going to take the round table that we have and I'm going to put it next to it and we have that baby swimming pool I'm going to put it on top of it. I've seen a lot of people with flushing systems use electrical pumps to pump the water up into it and I don't, like I said in my last video, I don't see a purpose in that. Um, I'm going to let gravity do the job that an electrical pump would do. Because, I mean, you have to stop and think, all right? You have a house that has water running through it. There is not one thing in your house that has water running to it that requires electricity. So, if you don't need electricity to run water to your house, why would you need electricity for a smaller project that does the same thing? Okay, uh, to me, it's useless, and it, and there's a way of figuring it out. I've noticed a couple of uh, people on YouTube who's come up with pretty good flu systems, and that helps regulate the amount of water that can go in and how much water can't go in. I'm gonna give that a try too, but right now I want to set up the basics and go from there. Okay, so now you see that we have the potter here, or the uh, planter here. I'm going to try to clear out, or cover up some of those cracks there. Then I'm going to drill a hole down here on this side for a bell system to where when water comes in and it reaches a certain level, it'll drain out. So, got issues with the outskirts here because I didn't build this too well like I mentioned before and nails have a habit of popping out. So, I'm going to have to take care of that issue as well. The why I'm covering this is because when I put plastic down, I don't want anything it's plastic popping through these cracks and to the outside of this. I'm wanting to seal it to prevent that from happening.
not the best, but it's a start. And besides that, there's going to be more plastic over the top of this. So. In better quality plastic than the last time. That's why we had the issue with this being wet. This will be over the top of it, hopefully. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to get a better piece of plastic because it's not really covering like I wanted it to. cover the bottom part but I'm not too sure if I want it. I'd really like it to come over the side but it is better for plastic. didn't make my decision on that later but first I'm going to have to do the drilling here so I will give it a break for now and then I will come back and do the drilling and film that too. I'm going to go at a second try with it. I'm going to try to improve the plastic that was on the bottom of it and put stronger plastic there plus we're going to turn the bottom of it into a water tank I guess it's uh, on the internet they talk about a bell system kind of like the plumbing in your bathroom with the toilet we're going to try to do that with a planter that's made of wood but we have plastic on the bottom of it to hold the water in and it's basically you know well, like I said our home riggings we're going to see if we can do it with the material that we have around the house or in the yard and stuff like that too. Try to make it as inexpensive First, I want to drill a hole in the bottom of the potting thing to where I can put I'm also going to put plastic down inside of there. I decided that uh, I'm going to use garbage bags on the sides because the, bit, the stronger piece that I have is uh, not long enough to handle or go from side to side. So I'm going to use duct tape to keep to tape tape it together on the sides and then I'm going to duct tape the outskirts of the plastic to where it's held firmly on the outside of it and it's not drooping over it back into the dirt I'm like it was you up here on my little perch that I made so that you can see what I'm drilling, what I'm drilling. now this is going to be the, the area that I can where I can see water coming in and then we're going to put drills here here and then here with pipes running through and when the water comes in it'll fill up and go through those pipes and I will put a hole right here.